Here it is. The Taiwanese Airsoft briefcase and the HK. Immediately you can already tell which one is which. Uh, the taper, the Taiwanese Airsoft briefcase has a, a very steep taper to it, whereas the original one is more square. Uh, now, I only have a sample size of one. I haven't really compared other German briefcases to this one. Uh, and then there's also the, um, I forget who makes SWAT arms or Special Weapons and Tactics had some briefcases. Uh, but anyway, this is a legit German briefcase. Okay. And then here is the Airsoft one. Oh, see how pronounced like this is? I mean, yeah, it has a similar protrusion, but it's not nearly as obvious as this one. This one's very angular. This one's more subdued. Uh, one thing right away I noticed on the German one, you have to pull this back. It's a dead man locking uh, safety in order, to, in order to release the trigger. This one, I'm like, what? Does it not work? No, it's an actual like clicky safety. So you leave it forward and you just, you don't have to hold this down with your thumb. You have to just let it go and then you can actuate the trigger. And then obviously made in Taiwan. One thing I do notice right away, the German case is more robust. Like the hinges are just solid, right? These cheap, cheap jiggly stuff. And the lid doesn't stay up on its own, okay? Like it doesn't lock open. This case does lock open. And even if I did that, well, I guess the case closes by itself, but the lid hinges lock in place. Now, it did match kind of this Hofbrau, uh, Hofbrau Plan Egg, or Hofbauer Plan Egg. They copied that. There's that PP logo, and then like date code. Mine doesn't have those things. Uh, I had to modify my briefcase to fit the PDW barrel. They did not. Uh, I, checked, I checked with a magnet, this is steel. So theoretically it should hold up to uh, real steel firing, uh, but you gotta change this out. I loosened these, there's two little screws here and you can loosen them and you can actually adjust the positioning of this mount. Uh, the biggest downside though, is that you're not going to have You need this, the brass deflector. Uh, that's gonna be huge. You're gonna need a brass deflector to deflect the brass forwards. Otherwise it can hit the side of the case and bounce back into the junction port. Ask me how I know that. Uh, other nuances, um, the, this thing, the trigger bar um, has a threaded rod kind of machined or welded into it. Whereas, I've already taken this one apart. It's just a, a nut and it falls right out. Now it is keyed to this part here, so it doesn't spin when you try to tighten this bolt. But this, I can't remove this arm from this, so I can't change out the arms. So that's, that's kind of annoying. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it so far. Uh, latches feel kind of cheap compared to the real deal. I don't even know if these, oh, yeah, I don't think these actually functionally lock. <laughs> Whereas my case actually has functioning locks. These, the springs are, are stiffer, just feels better made.